In this video, I'll show you how you can add images and replace images in Maglar's block editor. So to add a new image, simply click the add button in the top left to add a new image element. Uh, there's multiple types of image elements like a background image uh, in one of the basic uh, blocks you can add here. There are also more multiple types of images in regards to uh, positioning them. So when you want text on the right or the left side of the image, um, or if you want three images um, uh, stacked in a row, um, or four images stacked in a row, you can use these kind of images to, um, uh, to, to suit that need. Uh, so for now, let me take two background images here. So I can place two images right next to each other. And now I've added a image element with the possibility of adding two images to this uh, very uh, to this very element. So first of all, click the uh, click the uh, the element uh, box of the image that you would like to add, and you will see something on the right appear. So the image settings, um, and from here we can upload an image as well. Simply upload an image by clicking that upload image button to upload anything from your computer or open the library to, uh, to visit the library of images that you've already uploaded. So here is the image library in which I can upload an image. Simply drag it in there or use the right click to click the upload button here. And you can upload your images here. So every, uh, every project will receive one image library uh, in which all of the images will be placed. Uh, next to this, there's also an online database which you can use for images uh, which are free to use. So, for example, I can look for water here and I can get all types of images uh, regarding water. Uh, and I can simply click them, any of them, choose the image, and it will download, download it automatically and place it in the existing image block here. Um, so then, now the image has been added, now I can position it properly inside of the element uh, the element box there. Uh, I can do that on the right side of the screen once again. Uh, right now it's set to fill, which makes sure that uh, the image will be filled out across the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the elements. Second one's ratio, which will enable the ratio of the, of the image. It will set it to fit inside of the, the, the existing box. I can set it to fit, so it will fit inside of the box that I've created. And there's a manual option as well in which I can simply drag the image to, uh, to position it properly or zoom in or zoom out in order to position it more precisely. And then there's the original which always shows the original size inside of the element box here. Then there's the overlay color which I can enable so a, a gradient overlay will be uh, overlaying on the uh, on the existing project on the existing image here so I can pick the color red for example to add a red glow on top of my existing image I can adjust the opacity here to make it either more red or less red same goes for the background color I can edit that as well I probably won't see it now but let me turn that to oh, let me turn that to black um, and whenever I select the fit option here, you can see that there is a black background behind the image uh, when it's not really being filled, uh, uh, filled out across the entire element size. And there's the link option as well, so I can attach a link to this very image. Um, so for both images here, when it comes to this element here, uh, both images can receive uh, their own links in order to, uh, to have two separate links for each image. Uh, and then there's the visibility option, which you can use to hide the entire element or hide the complete row of images that you're seeing here. Uh, so that concludes the contents of this video. Be sure to check out any of the other videos to get more information about Magla and its editors.